So you're ready to get started with live streaming, but are you feeling a little overwhelmed? Well, in this video, I'll walk you through my best recommendations for camera, audio, and software so you can get started with live streaming today. And make sure to stick around to the end where I share a power tip for live streaming. Let's get started. You gotta just press record. Hey, my name is Heather Torres with Think Media, and on this channel, we do tech gear reviews as well as setup tutorials just like this. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Hey, before we get into the video, I want you to know that I'm gonna list the time codes for all the things that I'm talking about in this video. So make sure to check out the description below, and that'll help you know the cameras, the audio, and the software if you wanna go deeper into those right now. All right, so you're ready to get started with your live streaming. The first thing you need to consider is your camera and you can get started with the webcam that's built into your laptop if that's all you have that's all you need but if you want to upgrade from there I highly recommend getting this webcam I like this webcam because it is easy to plug in directly USB into your laptop you set it up and you're ready to go I like using an external webcam because it has a higher resolution which basically just means that the image is sharper and it looks so much better I found that this level of webcam is perfect for what I'm doing with my live streams and my online trainings. But if you wanna level up and you already have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, make sure to check out the video in the YouTube card or linked down below of our best camera recommendations for live streaming. But a webcam is enough to get you started. The next thing you're going to need is audio. Now, audio is critical when you're live streaming because that is what is going to allow your live stream to be more professional. I recommend getting a USB microphone that you can plug directly into your laptop and it's gonna allow for your audio to be super crispy while you're streaming. I use the Blue Yeti X as my USB microphone. I like this because of the sound quality and how easy it is to install. I literally just plug it in and I'm able to start live streaming. There is adjustments that you can make and if you wanna check out the video we have on the Blue Yeti, I'll link it in the YouTube card and in the description below. One of the mistakes we see a lot of creators making is they're just using, say, like their iPhone headphones and the little microphone that's on there. That's actually not a high enough quality of audio for a live stream if you want to be able to repurpose it for other things like, say, a podcast or on social media. So I highly recommend investing in a USB microphone so that you're already leveling up the audio quality in your live stream. Okay, now you've got the webcam, you have your USB microphone, and the last thing that I really recommend having is software. Now on Facebook and YouTube, you can just stream directly into those platforms. They can go live button very easily on a desktop computer, but I think that the best way to go live is to actually be able to do things like bringing on a guest or sharing your screen or playing other videos while you're in your live stream. And the best way to do this is with a simple software called StreamYard. This is a desktop application software that's really easy to use. And if you wanna see our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this, definitely check the description below or I'll link it in the YouTube card. Now, what I love about having StreamYard as the software is that it's user-friendly, it allows you to bring on guests, it allows you to customize it and, uh, and have it more branded to your live stream. So if you're ready to get started, definitely check the links below because we do have a discount code. We've partnered with them so that you can receive $10 off of your first month. Now, I have a power tip for you, but before I get into that, if you're getting value out of this video, go ahead and click that like button. And I'd love to know and pass the question off to you. Have you gone live yet? And what platform do you like to go live on? YouTube or Facebook? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, for my power tip when going live, make sure that you're planning out your videos. This is a big mistake we see so many creators making. They just click that go live button with zero planning or prep. Here at Think Media, we say research before you press record. So I highly recommend planning out your videos. Know what you're going to say, know how many points you want to hit, and know where you want to send people next. And if you wanna know the exact videos you should be making right now on YouTube, make sure to check out our free one hour on-demand masterclass at thinkmasterclass.com, where Sean goes deeper into the exact videos that creators should be making in their niche to be reaching their audience 
and getting more views. And what's so cool about live streaming is that after you understand this process, your live streams can live on. They can be views while you snooze. So make sure to check out our masterclass at thinkmasterclass.com. So now you're ready to start going live. And if you wanna know how we do our live streams here at Think Media and how we create our outlines and plan out our videos, make sure to click the video on the screen right now where we walk you step-by-step step through our process. This will help you get more views, more reach on your live streams, as well as peace of mind because you're going into it already knowing what you're going to say. So click the video on the screen and we'll see you in the next video.